Calling case number 21005520, the people of the state of Michigan versus Keith Applin. It's a tragic tale of a star's fall from the spotlight. Former MSU basketball player Keith Appling will spend the next 18 to 40 years of his life behind bars. All this for shooting and killing his own relative almost two years ago. The minimum range in terms of years would be 18.75. The uh, sentence agreement in this case is 18 to 40 uh, plus the two years for the felony firearm. On Friday, a judge delivered his fate as Appling stood before the court attempting to withdraw his plea, which was quickly denied. I would like to withdraw my plea of second degree murder, Your Honor. I didn't fully understand the plea at the time, and I didn't have enough time to really go through and get a better understanding of what I was pleading to. I don't want to think the worst of you or the people representing you, but it certainly appears to me that your motion to withdraw your plea is nothing more than a a ploy to try to delay the inevitable. According to reports, Detroit police responded to a shooting in the 13,000 block of Whitcomb Street on May 22nd, back in 2021. Police say the victim, Clyde Edmonds, was lying on the front lawn with multiple gunshot wounds. He was transported, but pronounced dead upon arrival at the hospital. As for motive, police say Appling was arguing with Edmonds over a handgun, and at some point, he fatally shot Edmonds multiple times before fleeing the scene. During his sentencing, Applin sat quietly in a seemingly empty courtroom. Judge, there will not be a family member speaking at the sentencing today. I'll note that in the pre-sentence report, under the victim impact statement portion, uh, it refers to Timothy Williams, who is the stepson of the deceased. Uh, he did uh, speak with the preparer of this report. Uh, indicating that he's doing as well as he could be under these uh, terrible circumstances. Back in June of 2021, Wayne County Prosecutor Kim Worthy initially charged him with one count of first degree murder, as well as several other charges, including two counts of felony firearm. Ultimately, the defendant, Appling, pled guilty to one count of second degree murder, a charge carrying heavy prison time. We're done. Liz Lewin, Fox 2 News.